MC has been developed with a mindset to prevent malicious scripts to be executed. However a series of bypasses exists which could be used in red deeming scenarios. DLL hijacking can be used as a form of MC evasion. Copying the 64-bit PowerShell binary to a user writable directory where the arbitrary MC.DLL has been planted will execute PowerShell with no MC protection. MC providers are responsible for the scanning by the antivirus product. An MC provider is registered in a registry location. In the event that administrator level permissions have been obtained removing the registry key will disable the ability of the endpoint to perform MC scanning. Forcing the MC initialization to fail will prevent any scanning to be initiated. Changing the variable names to a known MC bypass will evade the Microsoft signatures allowing the execution of scripts. Forcing also an error could be caused without the MC in it failed flag. Allocating a memory region for the MC context and setting the MC session to null will result in an legitimate MC error which will produce the MC in it failed flag. MC.fail contains an obfuscated version of this bypass. The MC result clean flag indicates that no detection has been identified. Patching the memory region of the MC scan buffer function to return always the MC result clean flag will bypass MC. This can be achieved by loading the required DLL into an existing PowerShell process. An alternative approach is to modify the instructions of the MC result in order to prevent sending the content to the antivirus. Usage of base64 encoding can be used in known bypass methods to evade MC. Hooking a DLL into the PowerShell process in order the MC scan buffer function to scan dummy parameters instead of the console values and strings.
Thank you for watching and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the Pentest Laboratories channel.